Hey everybody, I'm Mike Hagan. This week I had a system crash. Actually, my computer died when I was installing some third-party software. I wanna to talk to you about that system crash, show you how, how I recovered, and then I also want to encourage you to set up your own backups. I'm gonna walk you through the backups that I use that saved my bacon this week. So let's start from the beginning. So I have this right here. This is a Ronin S and it's a gimbal that I use for my videography. It's a great gimbal, by the way, I love it. DJI makes some really cool products. Well, DJI just produced a brand new firmware update. And that firmware update allows me to control autofocus to my Nikon D850. So I was excited to go ahead and update that firmware. So what I did, let me show you here on the computer screen, is I went to the DJI website and I went to install this software called DJI Pro Assist for Ronin. All right, and what that's supposed to do is it's supposed to then interface with your Ronin S through a USB cable and allow you to update the firmware. So I went through that whole process. I downloaded the software, I installed it on my computer, and then it said reboot. So I rebooted my computer. Well, guess what? My computer never rebooted. It just sat there and hung. Actually, the little Apple symbol came up and then the little progress bar on the bottom just locked and it sat there for hours and hours. I did a hard boot on the computer. You know, I went around to the back and I turned the power switch off, held it down, booted it up again, nothing. I did this three or four more times. Finally, I'm like, you know what? my system has been bricked. It is dead, it is not responding. So how did I recover? Well, fortunately, I have another laptop computer over there and it's a, um, I use that to hop online and just search various YouTube videos on how to recover from you know, Mac crashes. And what I found was, is you power the system up and then you hold down Command R on your keyboard. So after holding down Command R, up on the screen came what's called the Mac OS X utility screen. And that allows you to do things like, you know, reformat your hard drive and a other a bunch of basically base level system maintenance functions. Well, one of those is Time Machine, and that's what I used. I used Time Machine to fully restore my computer. So what is Time Machine? Well, most Mac users know that Time Machine is a daily backup campaign that ba literally backs up everything on your system. So here's my Time Machine disk drive, this little guy right here, the Seagate. It's, uh, I think this is an eight terabyte drive. And I just use that to back up my Time Machine. I think it backs it up at least every hour on the hour. So I plug that in with the USB and then it took me about nine hours to fully restore the system. When I did the restore, I went backwards to that morning around 6 a.m. before I started doing any significant work on my computer. So that's lesson number one. Use a backup for your entire system. And in the Mac case, you know, it's time machine. Lesson number two, I always back up my entire computer system to an external hard drive. In fact, to multiple computer hard drives. Now you may ask, why do that if you have Time Machine? Well, this setup was down for nine hours. Nine hours. I'm a businessman. I gotta make money, I gotta work. So during those nine hours, I was unable to use any of the data on the big iMac. But because I regularly back up an actual copy of everything on my computer to this solid state disk drive, I was able to take this disk drive over to my laptop and work as if I hadn't missed anything. The little SSD lets you work in real time where, where basically Time Machine backs up the whole computer. Now, I don't stop there. Everything that goes onto this little SSD also goes onto my big grade system. So that's what I have here. This is an OWC. This is the OWC Thunder Bay 6. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 terabyte hard drives in there. So that's 72 terabytes of storage. That's great. So I back everything up to that. And then I also back everything up to this one over here. And this is another OWC Thunder Bay. This is Thunder Bay 4. It's my, my secondary backup. And then I have an offsite backup where I put my gear, uh, my photos, sorry, my photos and data in an offsite drive. So my data is actually backed up in three places. I actually have a working copy here on the solid state. And then of course I have time machine there. So in all, what is that, five backups? 
But I can tell you what, I rest well at night knowing that if everything fails, I've always got a backup plan. And that's my encouragement to you. Back up your stuff today. Don't delay.